Ugliness of racism has again raised its head in the AFL. Four players have been abused online over the last week. The AFL, of course, is disgusted. But the question remains, how and when will this ever end? The Adelaide Football Club is rallying around star Ford Isaac Rankin following a racist attack on social media. I think it's a, just a cowardly act. It was targeted, it's just someone who's trying to, trying to hurt. Dockers Michael Walters and Nathan Wilson are the target of racial and homophobic abuse on social media. The club saying it's cowardly, it's hurtful, it's a blight on our game and society. The AFL Integrity Unit is now investigating and minutes ago AFL boss Gillan McLaughlin released a statement. It's got no place in our game, it's got no place in the community, it's frankly just a disgrace. It's completely unacceptable, it's totally disappointing, the people that do it are cowards. Enough, enough, enough. Like, when, when are we going to see a stance? It, it continues to happen and we just, like I said, we've got to just continue to move forward and, and try and make change. We stand with them, but oh, we've all had a gut full. It's, just, it's really sad and, and I, I just, he just wanted to stop. Yeah, you can tell right there how emotional Stewie Jew was. So, Gillan McLaughlin, he's got involved. You know, it's 30 years tomorrow since that iconic uh, photo of Nicky Winmar holding up the jersey and saying that he's proud to be black. And we're, we're still talking about this. Why are we still talking about this? Because, unfortunately, there's people in this world who, if you tell them to go left, they'll go right. You tell them to go right, they'll go left. And also, we'll look for their own little attention. They'll be watching this and saying, well, I know, I know I can upset them, so I'm going to keep doing it. It's the way that you react is important. Um, I've got plenty of black friends and spoken to them recently about it. And they were of the opinion, number one, what we're doing, calling it out, is right. There's, there's no doubt about that. But they, they're of the opinion that it's always going to go on, unfortunately. The ultimate goal is, is to eradicate it, but that's sometimes nearly impossible, unless we pretty much anything. Uh, is, is for the people who are receiving that abuse, not only for everyone to get around them, like you've just said, people do that, but also for the person who's receiving it to make them stronger. You know, use it as a form of inspiration. Um, because, like I said to you, if you start sort of too much going into the social media side and how we're going to stop it and this, that, and you could sometimes lose sight of, of what the actual problem is. And also, online abuse is obviously a very big challenge, isn't it? We know that the AFL do enormous work within their clubs and communities to, you know, mitigate as much of this as possible, but when it becomes online, it just makes it tricky and, you know, we've been subject to that before as well, hey Morgan, and, it, and it's a tough one to, to navigate. Yeah, I think sport is and has always been reflective of society. And while it's in society, racism, sexism, whatever it is, we've all been subjected to it, uh, being in the public eye or having a profile in sport. I think it's really simple on the social media side. Until Australian law says you need 100 points of ID to have yeah. a social media account, it will not stop. Yeah. That's exactly. the side of it. In terms of what the AFL can do, they can use this once again as an opportunity to get around their players yeah. uh, and to educate their supporter base. Yeah. But until Australian law does its part, this will continue because those people exist in our society. Just in terms of, of getting around these players, and Morgs, you know, from a, a Maori background, you know, did you experience it personally when you were playing? And how important is that to have your, your peers and your club supporting you through it. Well, I experienced it a lot less in sport than I did in society. My first experience of it was sitting in a stroller as a young kid and my white mother being abused by two old women because she had a dark child. Mm. It's part of Australian society, which means it's part of Australian sport. I, it's probably less than it's ever been. The accessibility of social media means that players are contactable so much more from 24 hours a day. It's not just at a ground when someone yells something at you or something like that. And, and you know the word that came out from all those AFL coaches? Cowardice. Yeah, mm. cowardice. And that's what it is. Not many of them are brave enough to say it face to face to someone, but online, behind a fake profile with a fake name, people can say the deep, dark things that they probably wouldn't if they had to put their name to it. Yep, mm. so 30 years tomorrow, as I said, with Nicky Winmar, wouldn't it be nice to think that in another 30 years we're not talking? Well, about we'd love to think about that, but I think Morgan just touched on it. Unfortunately, it has been part of a society growing up and I think if you talk to all the immigrants post Second World War they all have experienced some type of racism um, and and like I said everyone's got different ways of dealing with it and and you know some people don't recover from it unfortunately but I think it's up to also when you're in it you know when you're in a society type of a situation where you're probably with your friends if you even if you hear people joking about it just, just sort of say to them, look, listen, just put yourself in their shoes. Mm. They, you know, it's not funny. You know, how would you feel if, if you were looked upon just because, you know, of the colour of your skin or because of what you believed in and so forth? That's all. Yep. That's all. It's up to every, everyone's got a part to play in this. That's all. And the ones that are just, like I said, beyond redemption um, have to be called out. And like I said, and, and the ones who are copying it, keep 
keep using it as inspiration. Keep using inspiration to show, you know what, my best revenge is to be successful. Mm. And you will be. Mm.